Hi there, Lime Macedo. So you're from LimeMacedo.com. Who is Lime Macedo and Thick Puzzle Branding? The date is August 7th, 2018. Time right now is 9... Oh, sorry. It's 19.09. That is 7.09 in the evening. Okay. I always get these questions... I always get this question from, uh, you know, many of my students and clients. And yes, people who cannot afford my services. So I thought I'd finally make this video. What are my top 10 resume tips? tricks and suggestions that I can give you that will help you get a job of your dream, especially in the Middle East market, UAE. Okay, so I'll give you these top 10 trips, uh, tips, strategies for free. The only thing I ask for you in return is to put a comment. You know, I'm asking you just a small thing. Please put a comment. Please share the video and, um, you know, like it if you can. If you don't like it, put a thumbs up. And yes, if you need my services, remember, think personal branding, think personal branding. Okay, so let's quickly move on. You're searching for a job. You have to, you know, submit your resume. What do you do? How do you go about? Now, obviously, when you check, there are millions of resumes, millions of formats, millions of layouts, millions of colors. So you do not know what to do. Now, um, this is what I suggest. Keep this in mind. Um, point number one is even though even though people you know generally what they do is they try to make it I've, I've seen cvs resumes which are pink i'm not joking pink i've seen one which is neon yellow with blue i've seen one with you know icons and graphics i've seen one which came in a box i've seen uh, which you know one which is like a usb and like a flash animation and all that so i've seen all kinds of resumes but keep in mind that is the that that is the attention grabbing format okay okay you grab the attention you have yellow neon yellow and you have blue and you have pink and all that but finally it comes down to the content and in the content the first most important thing is remember say the most important thing first so forget the color forget the layout forget everything else remember on a legal document because your resume is a legal document please put the most important thing first and let it be universal and let it stick there. For Loy Macedo, it is personal branding strategist. It's, it's, it's like a watermark. It's my identity. It's my brand. It's my existence. It's everything. Loy Macedo, personal branding strategist. Okay. So in the same way for you, you need to have the most important word first, the most important description first the most important everything the first most important thing have it first remember it's not the color it's not the layout it's not the present all that is great people will clap hands and say wow because remember end of the day if a candidate comes in she's looking attractive she's looking hot she's looking sexy she's looking great he looks amazing big end of the day it's the work that counts so in a resume the first most important thing put that first whatever it is you decide so if it's sales let it be sales related. If it's accountancy, let it be accuracy and uh, integrity in terms of numbers. If it is engineering, once again, accuracy and expertise in engineering. So whatever it is, but please don't have stuff like, you know, 18 years experience, 20 years experience, you know, professional looking out for, don't have all that bullshit. Have the most important thing first, whatever it is, that word, whatever it is, that paragraph, that should be the most important. Remember, the top of the resume, the top, the first line, is prime property. So number one is the most important thing first. Second, state what the decision maker loves to hear. Don't state what you want. You want the job. Yes, agreed, you want the job. That is why when you put objective, objective to climb the top of the ladder and all that bullshit, that doesn't work. Don't give fluff because people are not stupid. However, speak in terms of what the employer wants. And what does the employer want is the big question. The employer is going to spend whatever salary you're going to ask, multiply that into 12. He has to put that as the entire budget for the year, convince the management or take it out from his own pocket and give it to you. So let's say, for example, your salary, your income, he has to give $100,000, you know, uh, full for the end of the year. Uh, that's the budget. So you have to be worth $100,000. So what do you think the owner wants? The owner would want return on investment, ROI. So if you're in sales, what does he want? Or if you're in business development, he wants uh, revenue. He wants a larger share of the market. 
he wants more customers okay so that's what he would want so then state this first now don't bullshit by saying you know i increased sales by 500 percent or i got 20 percent market share no 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 please use common sense there whatever information you're going to put across to him make sure that it is focused on this area okay that will make your resume very attractive let's say he's looking out for a designer why does he want design he wants design because end of the day when he presents something creative something amazing he would get the customer to say yes so you need to show him designs that not just are attractive but have made your previous owner a lot of money remember all the decisions that an owner will take or the decision maker will take will be based on return on investment roi so please point number two is state the most important thing first and that is the return uh, sorry state what the owner wants to hear and that is return on investment so point number one is state the most attractive amazing stuff that defines you first okay because that is your identity that is your brand that's the prime property at the top second one is state the return on investment because first is line instead of personal branding strategies second thing is okay whatever so whatever income you're earning i'll double it for you so first is name designation because that's your brand second one is important thing point number three resume please do not i repeat do not under any circumstance copy a resume i've been in this business for so many years i can spot it in a second if you copied a resume don't copy the layout don't copy the format don't think you're a smart ass a person like me does this every single day of the week. An owner has seen 10,000 different formats and resumes. A HR guy has seen maybe 4,000 a day. So you might think like, ah, oh, I'm a genius. Oh, I, nobody saw this layout. Nobody saw this format. Nobody saw this. They have seen it. So please do not copy. Be authentic. Obviously, you wouldn't know because you'd always take references from the website. That is why... Get a professional. Stop being fucking stingy. Stop being like, you know, so stingy. Oh, I'll buy an iPhone where I'll spend $1,000 but resume. No, 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 no. Please stop being stingy. It's your career, your future. You focus on making a great resume. You get a great job. You can buy 10,000 iPhones. You know, that's how brains work. Second one. Uh, sorry, point number four in resume. Uh, this one, I think uh, many, especially today's generation, they tend to do. You know what they do? They will first, they think they are very smart. So what they do, they read the ad. The ad says, looking for someone exceptional who's focused and, you know, who can generate revenue. So what this smart ass will do is he'll read the words and he'll think, oh, these are the keywords. So I'll use the keywords in my resume. I'm a person who is focused and uh, who wants to give the company return on investment. So the same words that he sees here, keywords, he'll copy it here, he'll copy it in his LinkedIn, he'll copy it when he gives his interview. Please, don't make it obvious. It's like this, I'm searching for a girl to get married to, and I tell the girl, you know, I want someone who eats frog's legs and uh, dances to Lombarda and uh, worships me. And she, when I ask her, so tell me something about you. You know, I like frog's legs. I love Lombarda and I love worshipping the guy who I'll marry. And I'll be like, hmm, okay. In my head, he'll be like, you fucking think I'm dumb? So keep this in mind. When you make something too obvious, people identify you as a fraud. I would rather, me, I would rather do business with someone who I don't, Particular look, eye to eye, but I know for a fact is extremely genuine, authentic, and has substance. Be that person. Point number five. This one, I think, idiots do, which still there. They position themselves as so perfect, so amazing, like God's gift to mankind. So I'm hardworking. I am determined. I am focused. You might draw backs. My drawback is I work so hard in the office, so hard. I don't have a family life. My wife never sees me. My child never sees me. I die in the office. I die. My achievements. I achieved 100% return on investment. 
I doubled the company's revenue. I was in budgeting. I was in marketing. I was in logistics. I was in sales. I was you know, presenting reports. Because of me, the company's turnaround became billions. If you're so perfect, why are you unemployed? Can you answer me? If you're so perfect. So please, point number five, don't position yourself as God's gift to mankind. Don't be perfect. Okay, it's stupid. Point number six, there is a lot of merit in word editing. What do I mean by word editing? You have to be a wordsmith. Every word on your resume, think you have to give a person $100 for every word in your resume. Like, for example, people describe 18-year-old a uh, professional with 18 years experience looking for a job or opening professional with 18 years experience looking for a job i want you to count each and every word and ask yourself if suppose a paragraph has 100 words can you squeeze it down to 50 words if you can then you must then can you squeeze it down from 50 words to 10 words or 15 words? So if you can squeeze 100 words to 15 words and say the same thing, but with better impact, that's called being a wordsmith. That's called word editing. And that's what I do when I have a resume. I make sure it's so power packed with such interesting information that the person should say, wow. Okay. So point number six is word editing. Point number seven, please keep this in mind. This is what many people forget is a resume is not like your underwear that you can keep changing every time. Like today it's blue, tomorrow green, the after tomorrow pink, the after It's, you know, a resume is like my bloody face, a tattoo. Once you put it, you can't change it. It becomes you for the rest of your life. If you keep changing your resume, you know, you give it to... Company A to modify your resume, then company B to make it better, company C. It's a joke. Just as Coca-Cola has a consistent message, just as Pepsi has a consistent strategy, DHL, FedEx, all these global brands, whether you see Donald Trump, whether you see Warren Buffett, Mark Zuckerberg, they all have a consistent style. You need to find your authentic style and develop that and make it the best. Don't keep going to Tom, Dick and Harry. So in the same way, your resume is a professional document, is a legal document. Please make sure that you go to one person, make it so good, so amazing, spend a fortune on it and stick to that format for the rest of your life with small tweaks here and there. Because if you apply for a job overseas and you change a whole paragraph or designation, you'll be looked upon as a fraud. And once that gets slapped onto you, your life is destroyed. Okay, so please keep that in mind. Point number eight is, remember, it's you are competing with 4,000. I want you to imagine you're competing with 4,000 people, okay? There are 4,000 resumes on the table. That resume of yours should jump out. So how do you do that? Visually, it should be amazing, okay? I know I said that don't have a pink resume. But visually, it shouldn't be shocking. It shouldn't be Lady Gaga. But at the same time, it should stand out visually. Remember this. A HR person will go through the series. So whatever is the industry format. If the industry format is black and white, don't have yellow and neon or white. So stick to the industry format. Make sure that words are like gold, like diamond. Make sure that it says what it has to say. And make sure that it sells. So when you have all these components among all the CVs, all the resumes, it will jump out by itself. So always ask yourself, if there were 4,000 resumes, does my resume stand as number one? Not even top 10, number one. So you need to do whatever it takes with your limited self to make sure it's number one. Okay, keep in mind there are a lot of employers out there because I'm sure you would say that, Loy, what if I'm not the best? And there are a lot of employers out there who who prefer the guy who has the most incredible tenacity and ability to push himself beyond anyone else. 
than taking someone who's talented but average okay uh point number nine is use the best of the best to make sure your resume is the best the best format best layout the best mentor the best wordsmith the best designer the best link linkedin consultant the best the best in all coordinate the best of the best as a team and create that one best document that will make you so for this you need to have a winning team when you have a winning team the best resume will stand out and last if not the least this one is funny but people don't even think i ask people what is the purpose of a resume he's saying the purpose of a resume is for me to get a job no the purpose of a resume is not for you to get a job the purpose of a resume is for you to be called for the interview think again listen to me again the purpose of an interview is the purpose of a resume is to be called for an interview so when the guy sees the resume he should be like call this guy for the interview then your resume is amazing nobody is going to look at a resume and say give this guy a job no they are going to look at a resume and say please call this man for an interview then your resume does the job so my friends these are the 10 tips in terms of resume uh if you you know there are many of you who don't want to approach a professional who don't want to pay me because they are too expensive so i decided fine i'll give you the points now you know the 10 best resume tips that will definitely help you get a job please do this because this is what i do okay that is why it takes a resume in order for me to create a resume it takes around one month the highest and longest it has taken the longest duration is three months it's it's a masterpiece it's a masterpiece that defines your brand your image you for the rest of your life so i have that one document permanently created to the best of your ability and uh, i'll tell you that will take you a long way off so live from imacido.com who's live missing in the bus branding like the video thumbs up don't like it thumbs down and you're on my professional service think personal branding put your comments down below this is me signing off for now take care